Piano Shack with me, Woody. Yes, I have a confession. I suck at playing the blues scale. I'll demonstrate that for you in a minute. Well, perhaps not suck. I'm being a bit harsh on myself, but there's a lot of room for improvement. And this is something I'm practicing and working on at the moment. So I'll take you with me and show you where I'm at. Also, I have a lovely backing track that I made in Band in a Box that I'm going to make available for you to download so you can try this yourselves. And I have a fun idea for a collaboration. If any of you want to upload your improvisations, then maybe I can feature those here on the channel. We'll have to think a little bit about how this could work, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. But let's change the camera angle now so I can talk a little bit about the blue scales and give you a quick demonstration with the backing track. We're playing a bit of a rocky blues, so I'm going to engage the tube screamer here on the organ. Let's get the volume. Yeah, pretty cool. So if you look at the band in a box window, let's just switch it over so you can see the keyboard as well. You'll see we are doing a 12 bar blues today. Perhaps the most common, well-known, and perhaps the easiest chord progression of them all. We're going to play it in the key of C as well, just to keep it simple for ourselves. The chord progression then is four bars of C7, four bars, or two bars of F7, and then C7, and then the last line there. I like to think of the 12-bar blues as three groups of four bars or four measures. Then we have the G7, F7, and the C7. That's it in its most basic form. Let's take a look at the blues scale. So in the key of C, the blues scale will be the following notes. We've got the C, E flat, F, F sharp or G flat, G, B flat, C. So we can go down, or we can go up. I perhaps wouldn't play my improvisations just like that, because it sounds like a scale, but you need to pick notes from this scale and make interesting phrases. That's what I'm working on. It's not easy. The blue scale, although, it's easy to play, it's very hard to play well, as I'm sure you'll find out if you've ever tried to do this yourself. Let's take a closer examination of the scale and see what the function is of all of these notes. It's played over a C7 dominant chord, which is a major chord. There it is, that chord there. So the C is the root of the chord. And it's strange, a major chord but we're playing the flattened third. It's not actually a flattened third. I don't want to confuse you too much. I'll explain in a minute what I mean, but that is not the flat third, actually. We have the fourth. We have the flat fifth. It is not a flat fifth. The fifth, that is your dominant seven there, and then the root again. So what on earth am I talking about when I'm saying this is not a flat third? It looks like a kind of minor scale but it's not. Remember I said you could play it over a major chord? And this note here is actually a, when we play uh, dominant seven chords, we actually like to add notes on the top. And it's actually that note that's been raised there. So this is the chord that the scale is based on. There we go. Same thing for that. It's actually a 13th that's been raised. Is that? No, 11th that's been raised. That's the chord that the blues scale is based on. But these two, we've moved down there instead. Now you might be wondering, since we're playing this over a major chord, can you play the normal third as well? And yes, you can. And normally when you're playing a blues scale improvisation, you might actually slide into that major third. It's quite a nice sound. But today we are just going to focus on the notes of the blues scale. It's good to restrict yourself 
and we're going to play some simple phrases and patterns using the blues scale, just these notes. And build up a solo over the 12 bar blues here. Now this is going to loop around uh, four times, I think. So what we'll try and do is play something really simple in the middle and build up our solo as it plays through, leading up to some kind of crescendo at the end. I'll do my best anyway. As I was editing the video, I realized there was one super important thing I forgot to say. You can play the same C blues scale that I showed you over all of the three chords in the 12 bar blues progression. That's the beauty of it. It strangely works over every chord, so you don't need to change to the F blues scale or the G blues scale or whatever key we're in, I can't remember now. Stick on the C blues scale through the entire thing. In a separate video, we'll explore your options if you actually change the blues scale you're using to match the chords. But for today, let's just use the notes of the C blues scale over all of the chords in the entire progression. Okay, let's get to it. Just some simple phrases. a bit of space to breathe in between the phrases. If I find something I like, I'll play it again. With perhaps just a bit of variation. <laughs> also doing a lot of slides. I'm slurring the notes. Playing two notes at the same time, but sticking to the scale. Oh, sorry, I went outside the scale. Trying to hold back because I want to save some energy for later in the solo. Give a longer phrase. Okay, let's play some double stops, two notes at the same time. Yeah, so that's what I have. That's where I'm at at the moment. I can hear there's a few things to work on. I'm reusing the same tired old licks over and over again. Could work on the structure of the solo, how to build it up and then perhaps a little bit back down towards the end. But yeah, that's where I'm at. I told you it was a bit rough and ready, but I'd love to hear what you can do with this backing track. Okay, so I want you guys to have the opportunity to play around with this yourselves. It's a lot of fun. So these backing tracks, or this backing track, I will publish over on Patreon, I think, but I'll make sure that the post is available to everybody. So all of you can go in and play the track. I think it works like this on Patreon, that if you're a member there and supporting me, you can actually download the file. Otherwise, you can just stream it as many times as you like. And I hope that's okay with everybody. I think that's the best arrangement I can think of it at the moment because there's no other way for me to host these files very easily, I don't think. So that's what we'll do with those. So please do go and download them or stream them as many times as you like and have a go at improvising. It doesn't have to be on the piano or the organ. You can use whatever instrument you like. Uh, these backing tracks would work with anything. Guitar, saxophone, harmonica, you name it. Vocals, even if you want to lay something down. If you fancy the challenge, record your performance as a video 
upload it to YouTube, send me an email, woodypianoshack at gmail.com with a link to your performance and I'll put together a little compilation video or something with me reacting to your performances. Let's see how good you all are at playing the blue scale. I think it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. Can't wait to see what you can do with it. So yeah, that's all for today. I'll see you again next time. Cheerio. Mm-hmm.